Hello everyone. So today we're going to look at a problem from inverse trigonometric function that is ITF. Now the question is find the set of values of A for which the given equation possesses a solution. Now the given equation is 2 cos inverse of x is equal to A plus A square cos inverse of x whole raised to power minus 1. So we have to calculate the value of A for which this equation will be having some solution. So let's start. Now our question is to find the value of A for which this given equation will be having some solutions. Now the question is not too difficult and it's not too lengthy. It's very short and you can solve within the minutes. But I guarantee you that most of you will get the wrong answer. So feel free to pause the video and try this question. Now our given equation is 2 cos inverse of x is equal to A plus A square cos inverse of x whole raised to power minus 1. Now let's say for a moment our cos inverse of x is equal to a value alpha. Now I'm going to write the equation in the terms of alpha. That is 2 alpha is equal to a plus a square divided by alpha. Now I'm going to multiply by alpha throughout the equation. That is 2 alpha square is equal to a alpha plus a square. Now I'm going to write this as in the quadratic in the terms of alpha. That is 2 alpha square minus a alpha plus a sorry negative times a square is equal to 0 now from here I can easily factorize the factors are quite visible that is minus 2 alpha and plus a alpha so from here the values of alpha will be it's clear that it is equal to a or minus a by 2 now from the quadratic equations we got two solutions of alpha that is either it is equal to a or minus a by 2 now we took initially we took alpha as cos inverse of x so the value of cos inverse of x turn out to be either it is, it is equal to a or minus a by 2. Now in the next slide, I'm going to calculate the value of a for which this equation will be having some solutions. Now previously, we have calculated the value of cos inverse of x. We got two values of cos inverse of x that are a or minus a by 2. Now in this slide, I'm going to calculate the value of a for which the equation will be having some solutions. So let's start with the solution a. So if cos inverse of x is equal to a, let's say for a moment, now the range of cos inverse of x is varies from 0 close to pi closed. Now as I told you in the starting of the question, most of you can solve the question within minutes but most of you will get the wrong answer. Why? Because there is a catch here. If cos inverse of x is given in denominator, that is 1 upon cos inverse of x, then cos inverse of x cannot be 0. So here we have to delete this interval, we have to keep it as open interval rather than close. So I'll take this as open 0 to pi close. So the value of a will be, a belongs to 0 open to pi close. So this is one of the solution for which equation will be having solution. Now I'm going to calculate from the second part. That is if cos inverse of x is equal to minus a by 2. Now I'm going to do the same thing that is minus a by 2. Now the range of cos inverse of x will be, belongs to as you can see 0 open to pi close because here will not be taking 0 close because cos inverse of x is present in denominator that is the catch. So if you multiply by 2 you will get this as a minus a belongs to 0 to 2 pi and 2 pi close. Now if you multiply with the negative you will get this as a belongs to minus 2 pi close to 0 open. Now if you club these two solutions the first one and second one because of our condition I'll be taking union so our final answer will be union of these two solutions that is a belongs to so I'll write the final solution here a belongs to minus 2 pi to 0 open union 0 open to pi close so this will be our final answer and that'll be all